Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to see how to compare two columns with data and to see the differences between each data set. In previous videos, we've seen how to compare two worksheets and also two workbooks. But when comparing two worksheets that, that was comparing cell to cell here, we're going to compare if a value in the first column or in the first data set is also in the second and the other way around. And as an example, I have here the products sold in 2020. So the products are mobile phones versus the mobile phones sold in 2022, let's say in the first quarter of 2022, for a particular retailer that is selling phones online. So let's move to the Visual Basic Editor and insert a module. And we're going to create a macro that I will call compare to columns. And the two columns in this case are going to be column A and column C. So I'm going to set call one as columns A and call two as columns C. But you can change these to, for example, ask the user to select a column and you would work with the selection or any other way. So let's declare call one and call two as a range. So a column is also a range object. And now we're going to get the last row with content. So the columns can be different. So to know what is the, the last row, we will select columns from A to C. And then with special cells, Excel cell, cell type last cell, we're going to get the row. And, and there are many other ways to get the last row with content, but this is just one way that will work now. Uh, now that we have the last row with content, we can start a loop for R, that stands for row, starting in row 2. We're going to start in row 2 because in the first row we have headers to LR. So this is going to loop through each row in the, in the data set or in the column. And then we're going to set prod1 as the product for that row in the first column. So that's going to be cells R. And then the column index is, is going to be call1.column, which is actually 1, co column A or column 1. But let's put it this way just in case you um, want to adapt the code to, to select other columns. And that's going to be the value. And the same for product 2. So product 2 is going to be the cells R. And now it's going to be called 2.column.value. So when we start, prod, prod 1 is going to be Apple iPhone 6 okay, in, in, in row 2. And prod 2 is going to be Google Pixel 4. What we want to check is if Apple iPhone 6 is in this other column here, right? So let me add some commentary here. We want to check if prod 1 is in column 2. First of all, let's check if the product 1 has a value. So if there is a value, then we are going to find if that value is in column 2. So set is in column 2. And now we are going to search in column 2 so using find. We're going to search for product 1. And then if is called 2 is nothing, so this means it didn't find that product in the second column, then we can do several things. One of the things we can do is to highlight that cell for example, so for cells R, call1.column, interior, yellow. So we are highlighting in yellow the product that was not found in the other column. But I remember in, in some previous videos you've been asking, what if I want to put that in a different sheet? So yeah, that's very simple. So let's just add another sheet. And I'm going to call it diffs, like for differences. And we're going to add the differences there. So what we have to do is for product one, we will define div one. It's going to increment by one. 
And then in sheets, divs, cells, div1, we're going to use div1 also as a row index. And in the first column, we're going to add that product. Then we end the if statement here, and we end the other if statement. So for now, we have checked if the product in the first column is in the second column. Now we want to check the other way around. We want to check if product 2, which was this one here, Google Pixel 4, is in this column. So we are actually going to use exactly the same code that we've used here. So let me copy and paste. And we should be, of course, declaring some of the variables we're using. For example, prod1 uh, is probably going to be a string. Prod2 as a string2. Yeah, and we will declare the other variables later. Now, for this piece of code that we just copied, let's change it now. This, let's adapt it. So this is going to check, and actually this is if. If the product 2 is in column 1. OK, so then we're going to check if product 2 is not empty. We are setting now is in call 1. OK, and then we search in, in call 1 to find the second product. Now, if is call 1 is nothing, then for column 2, we're going to make it yellow. And if we want to add it to another sheet, we're going to have the div 2 in this case. And in the sheets divs, we're going to add it to corresponding row. And in column 2, for product 2. And here we just go to the next row to close the loop. So that's it. Let's see how it works. And as you see, it has highlighted in yellow the values or the products in the first column, which are not in the second column. And also, it has highlighted the values in the second column, which are not in the first column. And it has also added those to, to this other worksheet. So for example, we see here the products which were in the first list, the products sold in 2020, which are not being sold in 2022. And also, we see here the products in the second list, products that are being sold in 2022 that were not sold in 2020, like the Apple iPhone 13, because that's a new model, or the, or the Samsung Galaxy S, S22. Yeah, so that's how we compare two columns in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.